Hello, everyone. So here we are with Abby Johnson today. She's a pro-life activist. She's a former Planned Parenthood director. And today she's going to be sharing a little bit about her story and about her exciting new film called Unplanned. Hi, Abby. Hi. Thank you for taking the time to speak to me today. Um, I think it's such an important topic. And I really wanted to make this video to create awareness. Right now, abortion is the leading cause of death in the world. 40 to 50 million children are dying yearly and something needs to be done. The fact that your movie is coming out in a time when horrible abortion laws are being passed, I think really is divine intervention, perfect timing. So Abby, can you tell us a little bit about your story and this new film that you're coming up with here in, at the end of March, right? Yeah, yeah, March 29th. March 29th. Um, yeah, I worked for Planned Parenthood for eight years. And I'm sorry, my voice is scratchy. I've got Sinus stuff going on. So <laughs> no problem. Allergies. Sorry, late. Blue season. Um, so I worked there for eight years. Um, left. I was a clinic director there. Um, left in October of 2009 after witnessing a live ultrasound guided abortion procedure where I saw a 13 week old baby fight and struggle for his life against the abortion instruments. And I knew then that there was life in the womb. There was humanity in the womb. And I knew that I was on the wrong side of this debate. And so I ended up leaving and uh, really started talking about my experiences, um, trying to expose what was taking place inside of uh, abortion clinics and also trying to to really help facilitate healing for those who have been touched by abortion because we know that you know there's a million abortions taking place every year in our country and and that's a lot of uh, woundedness in in women who are all around us Yes, and for and this this movie that you're coming that's coming out at the end of March. Can you tell us a little about about this movie? What what can people expect to see in the movie? Yeah, so um, so my book Unplanned. Yes. They basically took my book and then uh, turned it into a, a film, and uh, it's it's very um, it's very accurate. Um, it's, you know, I didn't, I, I didn't want the film to be inspired by a true story. I did want it to be my true story and, uh, it really is. And, um, you know, it's going to show people the truth about abortion and, and what exactly is taking place inside of, of these clinics. And, you know, no matter where you are on the topic of abortion, I feel like it's an important movie for all of us to see and watch because if you support abortion, you need to know exactly what it is that you support. Um, if you are pro-life, if you don't support abortion, then, you know, we need to equip ourselves with truth and we need to know what's taking place inside of these clinics so that, that we can be better advocates. Um, for our position as well. So I, f I feel like this really is a, a movie for everyone. Yes, and, and I just want to, to tell everyone out there that this movie is not about judgment, it's not about blame, mm -hmm. not about condemnation. It's about mercy and forgiveness and giving the unborn a voice. And I think it, it's, this movie is coming out at the perfect time in society right now, the perfect timing. And um, also, I... I want to tell those out there, if you have undergone an abortion, there's healing out there for you. There's, I'm going to link below uh, Ra Rachel's Vineyard. There's a retreat where you can go and get healing for yourself. And also, I want Abby to talk about her ministry, and then there were none. For those wishing to leave the abortion industry, you're working as an abortionist, you're working in a clinic. Abby, can you tell us a little bit about and then there were none? Sure. So, um we started that ministry a few years ago, just like you said, trying to help people leave the industry. And what we uh, 
uh, really didn't expect, but what has happened is that we've had a lot of people come to us for our healing resources who worked in a clinic years ago. So, you know, before they had children, before, you know, they were in college, whatever it was, and they never told anybody that they had once worked in an abortion clinic. And, and so they had been really like stuffing that down, keeping that to themselves, not getting healing. And so we're also able to help people like that. So, um, you know, we got it started just trying to provide healing, new job resources, um, professional counseling, get them plugged into a church. And we've helped uh, 488 abortion clinic workers in the past few years come through our ministry. And uh, because of that, we have, because of those workers, we've helped to shut down 21 abortion clinics um, that were harming women and taking the lives of the unborn. I just love the work that you're doing, Abby. And uh, for those out there um, listening to this video, um, you can be a voice as well. Go out there, watch the movie, tell your friends about the movie, post it on your, in your social accounts. Um, this is one of the greatest pro-life movies of all time, in my opinion. And Abby just told you a little snippet of her story, but the movie has the entire story, the, all the details, and I can't wait to see this movie. Um, Abby, so where can people see this movie? Is there a website where they can see, uh, where they can go and get more information? Yeah, they can go to unplanned.com. Uh, to get all the information and to get information about tickets, where the film is being shown, they can go directly to unplannedtickets.com. And again, it releases March 29th. March 29th. And I will link all of this in the description box. And also for And Then There Were None, um, where can they go? Is there a website for that ministry as well? Yep. yep. They can go to prolove.com. Prolove.com. Well, Abby, thank you so much for taking the time to speaking with me today. I can't wait to see the film. I'm actually getting, uh, gathering all the ladies from my women's group to go see it. Maybe we can go see it together. Um, yeah. Best wishes on, on, on your work. Continue being the voice for the unborn. I think um, you are one of the greatest voices out there right now. And we need this. We really desperately need this right now in this country and all around the world. Uh, best thank wishes you. on the film. I'm sure it's going to be a success. And thank you so much for taking the time to talking with thank us. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Thanks, Abby.